IBM's response to COVID-19, the High Performance Computing Consortium. I'm Tanya Hall and joining me is Dr. Francesco Rossi, IBM Fellow, AI Ethics Global Leader, and Distinguished Research Staff Member at IBM Research. Welcome, Dr. Rossi. Hi, thanks for having me. Give us a brief, I should say welcome back actually, but uh, for those people who may not have seen you uh, on our show before, give us a brief summary of your professional resume and explain what it is that you do at IBM Research. So at IBM Research, I uh, work as a researcher. I lead research projects to advance AI capabilities, uh, sometimes related to AI ethics, so how to embed ethical principles into AI systems, but also in general about advancing AI, for example, by combining machine learning and reasoning capabilities. Uh, but besides that, then I also oversee uh, and uh, contribute to the, all the activities that IBM has internally and externally around AI ethics. So the partnership, external partnership that we have, like with the partnership on AI with other companies, with the uh, government, like the European Commission, uh, with the UN, with the World Economic Forum, and so on, but also internally to define the internal AI ethics governance. For example, I co-chair together with our chief data privacy officer, the internal AI ethics board that really coordinates and govern the whole AI ethics space within the company to make sure that what we, do, what we innovate around AI ethics in research goes into the business units, goes to the developers, and then goes to our clients as well. IBM is leading an effort in the global fight against COVID-19 virus. Tell us about IBM's founding role in the COVID-19 High Performance Computing Consortium. Yeah, that was uh, really something that uh, our head of research did Dario Gil, uh, and he, he really took this opportunity to um, uh, to put uh, everything that IBM has at the service of uh, this. Uh, uh, crisis, the solution of this crisis. So the one of the uh, initiatives is this high performance computing consortium that was uh, funded by IBM, but now together with the White House Office of uh, Science and Technology Policy and uh, the Department of Energy uh, and also other companies uh, really to say, okay, we have these uh, incredibly uh, fast and powerful computers, for example, the Summit computer, which is the fastest computer in the world that was developed at IBM, uh, we want everybody that want to use these uh, facilities, these computing capabilities to try to find a solution to the uh, COVID uh, crisis to give this uh, possibility to use it. And so, for example, it has been used to identify uh, proteins that can, that can link to the spike of the virus and can possibly um, um, help in trying to solve and cure the virus as well. So many, many thousands of uh, these possible molecules have been uh, uh, studied. Uh, and of course, the, the faster the computer and the more you can study in a reasonable amount of time. And then a few of them have been identified as very promising. And now they go to the human experts uh, uh, to, to be tested and to be seen what, if, if really they can help in solving the virus situation and being a cure. So this is an example of really putting all these expertise, but not just the computing facilities like in this consortium, but many other like the capabilities of IBM to to provide uh, uh, very reliable uh, information about the COVID situation and updated one. For example, we have the Watson assistant, assistant that can help people to, uh, uh, un to ask queries, ask questions about the COVID uh, situation, or also the um, the uh, weather app. You know that uh, IBM a few years ago um, uh, acquired the, the weather channel uh, and then we have an app that the people can download and already they have downloaded to check the weather but now they can use that also to have information, updated information uh, around the COVID situation. 
Another thing that we did, for example, you may know that IBM is, uh, has a record number of, in the US, has a record number of patents every year. So we, may, we put all our patents available for free to everybody that wants to use them uh, as a possible uh, mechanisms and tools to, uh, as a basis for mechanism and tools to solve the COVID situation. And the access to these tools that you're mentioning, it's all at no, at no cost, correct? Yes, yes. So the patents can be used. The computing facility for the high performance computing also is available free. And also the <clears throat> Watson app you know, allows to have this information for free. Um, so really, is really IBM believes, uh, and I think that uh, it's shared by many, that uh, to solve this problem, we need to use science and technology. You know, we cannot, we cannot just use uh, politics or agreement between people and so on. We need, we need to rely on the facts given by science and technology, uh, but re remembering that science and technology are at the service of human beings. And uh, uh, so, for example, when we, uh, when we deliver solutions also in, uh, to our clients as well, to help them uh, go back to work in safety, we rely on, we only uh, consent to have uh, solutions that are voluntary, that have the opt-in or, or, or solu uh, consent based, so and and they can respect privacy as much as possible. We believe that privacy preservation is possible also in the context of contact reminding or uh, or uh, identifying people with uh, the masks and so on. So the whole all the uh, solutions that can be useful for our clients to go back to work in safety and that's very important but again science and technology remembering that they are at the service of humanity and public health of course how can an organization go about joining the consortium well, I think there is a website that you can find. You can find it at, I think it's www.ibm.com uh, forward slash COVID-19. And there you can find the whole list of initiatives uh, that IBM is involved and in leading around the COVID-19 situation, including the High Performance Computing Consortium. Dr. Francesca Rossi, IBM Fellow, AI Ethics Global Leader, and Distinguished Research Staff Member at IBM Research. If somebody wants to connect with you, Francesca, how can they do that? They can find me on LinkedIn is the easiest way, and then we can connect. They can send me a message on LinkedIn, and then we can follow up from there. Sounds good. Thanks again for joining us. And find more of my interviews right here, or go to tanyahall.net. Thanks for watching.